What you're looking at is the item that Anthony Fisher used in the latest Satisfying Saturday. Oh, the one I didn't link to. That's right. Because I wanted people to, to notice tease, tease. that I didn't link it. So this is the new Detail Factory wheel brush that has been under development for what, Anthony? Um, Three years we've been working on this with them? It's been about two years, actually. About two years. Um, so this brush, if I may hold it... Um, I think, I, 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 unless it, unless they change the name, so initially this was going to be called the Triad Brush. I think Detail Factory is still wanting to go with that name, uh, or at least we can call that the code name if you want to call it that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the idea was to create a brush that um, had the ability to change the sock, the microfiber yep. sock, right, and be able to change the level of agitation that Correct. you would want from your barrels. And so with other barrel brushes out there, there's some really good cheap options. There's some uh, really good expensive options, uh, but there's nothing really in the middle there that has that quality factor about it that can still hold up to a lot of abuse, but also be able to be used on multiple different styles of wheels. And the hard part about barrel brushes is, is that um, you either get one that creates more of a mess than what you want it to, right? Let's just True. say it flings back at you, yeah. or the fibers, or the yeah. bristles. Uh, then you have others that are too heavy. Yeah. Be, once they become saturated, they become like this giant heavy stick, um, and it gets kind of annoying. We wanted something that was going to be strong, something that was going to be delicate and safe, uh, yet be extremely durable. I mean, we want this thing to be yeah. a, a lifelong brush is, is what it is. So yeah. um, this is pretty much the general design here. It is uh, flexible. So you are able to flex this, and it is relatively thin. So um, in our satisfying Saturday, we use this to clean the barrels of the Challenger. Yep. Does fantastic. It's 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 an amazing well, brush. And the cool thing is, it's going to be coming with two socks. Yep, two socks. Toss that over because so the camera's on you right now. Basically, you're going to have Scrubby. this and this that you're going to get inside the package. It's a package deal. So when you buy the the entire brush set, you're going to get two of the socks. So this brush right or this sock right here is going to be your delicate uh, sock. This is going to be for general washing. Um, general stuff. washing. It's going to be for maintenance washing. It's going to be for all of that. Whereas. Uh, this guy right here is going to be um, for your um, long overdue wheel cleaning. Right. Now, that it's is a twist stuff. loop fabric, uh, but it's got a different texture to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so uh, it is a little more uh, coarse. coarse feeling. It, but it, it looks is, softer than it is. But it is. No, but it's still very soft. It's, it's not going to damage or hurt not, your wheels. Yeah. You could technically use that as a maintenance brush if you'd like. It's a very tightly um, woven. It's very tight. So... so. Uh, very structurally rigid, but basically how this works is uh, you take your brush here. It's rubberized grip. Um, it's got a plastic base here, um, so there's no exposed metal components or yeah, anything like that. Yeah, and it's a very comfortable grip because it's detail factory. Um, yeah, that's one thing they do is, is ergonomics. It's, yeah. it's amazing. And we've had every single uh, variation of this at, up at, into the point of its final final version, and we've <clears> seen it change a ton. So Important um, question because you knew it was going to come up. Ah. <laughs> so Brian asking, can you guys explain the difference between this and the microfiber madness's wheel brush? Well, the microfiber madness brush um, is a plastic handle, has a spring wrapped it's a, it's piece a, of plastic. It's a, it's, a, it's a piece of wire. It's, it's like a it's wire like a spring. String. Yeah, that's no. The wire is for the handle. Oh, it's the a piece part. of wire. It's a wire yeah. that is a, a coil spring that is uh, encased plastic in plastic. Covered wired, yeah. So it's very flexible. Now they make two different versions. They make a version that has a flat. Uh, type of head mm -hmm. that you can then slide a sock over and then they make another one that is that is just like the conical. the normal conical shape uh, they do make replacement sleeves they are a drawstring style sleeve so you pull mm -hmm. it out and you pull your sleeve off and you can wash it uh, again it's made out of a 92 92 8 uh, so 92% polyester 8% viscose blend like their mitts and things like that uh, so we wanted to create something that was very different and detail factory themselves were also in that where we want to be able to create something that is very unique and on its own so this is obviously a detail factory product it's got the detail factory logo on the bottom and it's a nicely contoured rubber handle this is a fully plastic designed shaft and then take that sock off so they can see what the underneath the sock is for so, folks, it's a, little, like, it's a two finger pop. It's a seventh grade, is what this is, right? <laughs> oh no! Sorry. Oh All right. no! So, um, it's a uh, basically like a polyurethane rubber uh, end on it. 
So very, very soft, very safe. Uh, has a bit of a squish to it, so you can uh, you can press down on it. It's yep. very firm as well, so uh, you can apply pressure to it so that it'll scrub the wheel nicely. So a lot of the things we tried to do is, uh, and you know, we gave design ideas, but they really took the mecha- the manufacturing of all this to the next level. They really did, and yeah. they'd send us prototypes and pieces, and so we've got you've got a few of them littering in your desk uh, yeah. over the last few years, and so. We've really worked on this, and and <clears throat> these guys really just said, "Okay, thanks. We got our ideas. We're going to take it to the next level." Now, um, yeah, this has been something in progress for a while. It's been in progress, and I, I'm really going to give them the credit where where it's due. I mean, they they kudos to them. They came up with a lot of the different design ideas, um, you know, and then asked us, uh, you know. Well, what do you guys think that of that? What do you think of this? It doesn't come through in the videos how substantial it feels. It's it's a nice brush. It doesn't brush. feel like a cheapy, No, and, it, and that it, rubberized it has grip. has weight to it. Those guys know ergonomics. Yeah. It you know? feels great in the hands. They know so. ergonomics better than anybody. And it's it's surprising how well that feels, how well it fits in your hand, and how easy it is to use. Yeah. So I think that realistically... I, this is going to be able to knock out most wheels. So we did test it with really tight brake caliper clearance. Mm-hmm. Um, this cannot fit in the tightest spots, right? No, a, no but normal, they are working on that. Yeah, on a normal rotor, on a normal brake caliper, on all uh, the normal stuff, this is going to fit in. You're not going to have any issues there. Um, but um, this, the nice part about it is you can apply pressure. So when you're applying this into a, you know, a, a brake barrel, right, you can push downwards and scrub if you need to. So yeah. you can get a really good clean. You can go side to side. You can also side. go up. You can also if go you're going up, up underneath flip, the wheel. You can do whatever you need to do. But um, it's it's pretty killer. And so what's nice too is that this is long enough t- as well to where if you're ever worried about like this button, for example, here this is a YKK snap on the bottom here. Um, you don't need to because no. typically you're not even going in that far. Well, right? and it's it's a plastic button. It's a plastic. Button. It looks like <clears throat> it's metal, but it's actually plastic. Yeah. So. Um, Oh, there's nothing another question here. here. The oh, yeah. dog thing. threw one in. Is the Shaggy Sock one to wheel brush a 7030 microfiber? Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look at the package. Okay, yeah, I think we need to ask. Uh, we need to ask Detail Factory what yeah. we're rolling with because this isn't our. Either... This isn't our fiber. We did utilize some of our fiber for the, some of the first early prototypes. Yeah. Um, but this is unique to them. Yeah. Yep. So. So they've been the we'll one. Find out. But what you're getting is a around. kit of all those items together yeah, so yeah. you buy the brush it comes with two socks so you can take those off throw them in the wash i actually did a load of them yesterday did a couple of these socks oh, nice. uh, yeah. in the washing machine with some of the wash mitts and stuff totally worked just fine held yeah. up really well um and then the goal is that we will also have extra replacement socks. replacement socks so you can buy um more if you need that we have a few you can always swap them on pull them off whatever you need to do if you got a bunch of cars to wash or whatever you want to do yeah yeah but now, all in all, pretty sweet setup. So I've been I've been